aside that one and also exempt this one because the performance after the enough today. Wow. Ah, juu kabisa katika ile bonde la ufa kuna masamburu ambao ni jamii moja na wale tunawaita wanandi. Anakuja binti amevaa vizuri. Vazi lake lina madoa doa ya kupendeza kweli. Ni nzuri. Wow. Haya tukiachana na pale samburu tunakwenda masaidi kwenyewe. Can you tell us your name, please? Tiffany Kipkore. 
So you look very beautiful on stage with the Karajin Nataya. Can you explain a bit of uh, what do you mean by necklaces, the girls and all that stuff? Um, this explains our beauty and our culture, and this explains our tradition in drinking milk, traditional milk, which is made by ourselves. Can you do some sampling of the milk? No, there's no milk in the, in the goats. Can you do something? And let's see. I can drink. You drink like this. And then you can shake. You carry it around. It's healthy. And now we go back to the east, lower eastern part of the uh, country, the Kaba community. Can you explain? What's your name, please? Zipara Gatambia. What did you model on stage? A uh, Kamba traditional outfit. Can you explain about the outfit? I can see a top, top and necklaces and uh, skin heights. Can you explain a bit? In the past, the Kamba used to wear, the Kamba ladies used to wear a lot of jewelry and the uh, gold hide. Yeah. Did you enjoy wearing these cultural things as a young, uh, young, how old are you? I am only 12. Did you enjoy wearing this cultural attire for the Kamba community? Yes, I did. Yes. I'm proud to be a Kamba. What's your name, sir? Uh, Kidusi Kivuvani. I can see you have a lot of uh, paraliferias at Al... Uh, which, which community is this, sir? Kamba. Can you explain a bit of uh, the, the, the walking, the shield, the drums and the skin? Can you explain a bit? Uh, uh, it's what the warriors used to wear. Can you explain each, each category of, uh, of attire? From the top, necklaces and all that? Uh, there are ostrich feathers. And there's skins, shield, and a spear. Yeah. And with bangles. Yeah. So did you, the parents provide this attire or you, the school? Uh, the parents. Ooh. Yeah. I like it, it's nice, it's very nice. Like you, thank you very much for performing this event. Uh, you're welcome, thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we go back to the lakeside city of Kisumu. What's your name? Kodime. Kodime, uh, what is your attire? It's a Luo warrior. Okay. Can you explain a bit? Uh, I can see a very interesting things on the, on the shoulders. And Can you explain what they mean? Do you understand what they mean? Uh, this is a crown for the prince that he used to, he used to wear a long time ago. Mm -hmm. This, I don't really know. I don't really know this, but I know this. Uh, they used to make cuts using sisal mm -hmm. and other thick things back to mm -hmm. animal skin. Mm -hmm. Did you understand the meaning of the sisal and uh, did you like it? You have nothing on the top and the sisal wood and then the sandals? I like the sandals. Can you explain about the sandals? Uh, it's, it's made of tire. It's made of tire fiber. Uh, it's homemade. We didn't buy. It's just homemade. Excellent. Did you enjoy the, the cultural festival? Yes, I did. Ooh, thank you very much. Welcome. It was songs and dance during the Lost of Shalom Cultural Day night held at Woodray NPC Nairobi. Various performances were done by the young people. And the parents enjoyed and laughed during the performances, which featured poetry, music and dance. Anthony Jage reporting for YNTV.